It's a building that takes up almost an entire city block along East North Avenue. It's Baltimore school system headquarters, named in honor of Alice G. Penderhues. Her motto was individual success. Every child can succeed. Her daughter, also named Alice, says her mother never paid much attention to being first. And you know, I don't think she ever thought of herself, even though she was the first woman. I think her role was, I'm doing a job. A job that put her in touch with thousands of children. This is one of her favorite photos. You see her talking to the children, and you see her expression with the little girl, and you see her interest. And sometimes conversations from work continued around the dinner table. My mother would try to see what my kids were doing in school compared to what was going on in the school system. She would talk about her goals, um, making sure teachers were trained. There's a school here in Baltimore City which still bears the name of William Pendehues, the husband of the former school superintendent, who also held down a top spot in the administration. My dad was up for superintendent when Dr. Patterson was appointed and didn't get it. And then my mother was able to get that position. Once my dad died in 1972, my mother just sailed with promotions. Promotions that took her all the way to the top. Alice Pendehue stepped down in 1988, taking with her plenty of memories. You see, these are letters written from the children in the school to wow. the superintendent. My mom didn't have a master's because of segregation. She didn't have a PhD. But I want kids to say, look at what she did, and look at her success, and look what she accomplished. Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.